Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of the Roll Down Loft. Just got home from work today a little early, so I have time to fly the birds. So I'm gonna go ahead and let the kit birds out and let them do their thing, and we can take a quick look at the breeders. Let's go ahead and open these guys up. Let them out. Let's go, let's go. other guys out I haven't been able to really fly them so that's probably the reason why they're some of them are interested in coming out but uh, they'll fly if I force them out come on guys let's go you guys need some uh, wing time right now this guy's slightly a newer guy so this guy's a little shy the guy that flew out last, this bird was actually a double J bird that I was going to stock from the nest. But since I lost a couple birds from the kit box, I just decided to add it to the kit birds. As you can see, still flying a little sloppy. This is maybe only his third or fourth time flying with the kit, so hopefully with time it'll get better. But that's the kit birds. They are a little more active now. Only filming with the GoPro, so the video might not be that great, but I'll see if I could get them. Get some decent video for you guys. If not, then I'll do it next time when I get my actual filming camera outside. But yeah, they're flying right now. Let's go ahead and just take a look at the kit birds. Well, not the kit birds, but the breeders. They were looking a little dirty, so before I went to work this morning, I gave them a pail of water so they could bathe. It looks like Looks like the majority of them did bathe. So that's a good thing. I was gonna feed them, but they still have some food in there. So I'm probably not gonna feed them yet. Or I may not even feed them today. I might wait till tomorrow. But birds look clean. I guess we could go ahead and hop inside real quick. Let's see here. All the birds are doing good. Uh, everything looks healthy. Like I said, they just took a bath, so they all kind of look a little sloppy, but I learned that I think after they dry, they should be good. I don't know if I mentioned it in my last video, but I did end up stocking one of my almond birds in here just because I lost the original almond bird. I'm not percent sure if this is a cock or a hen, but I think it's a cock bird. It's a little more on the aggressive side, but it's not aggressive enough for me to say for certain that it's a cock bird, so hopefully it's a cock bird. I do have another one of its nestmates in the kit box. That one might be a hen. That one isn't as aggressive. And my buddy does have a, not a nestmate, but a sibling of these birds also. So I uh, might pick that bird up from him if he still doesn't, or if he, if he doesn't want it or not. He's been telling me that he wants to get rid of some birds. So if he doesn't want it, I'll probably go and pick it up. There were two young birds in here that I originally was going to use or stock from the nest but since I lost a couple of kit birds I decided to put two of those birds in the kit box I ended up losing one which was a blue bar self bird that one just disappeared that one never came back um, I have a blue check that is currently flying with the kit uh, that one has been out a few times and it hasn't disappeared so I'm hoping that it doesn't disappear after today uh, we'll find out when they land but yeah all the breeders are doing fine like I said nothing new um, I am going to return this blue bar cockbird in here. This one is a John Johnson bird. And I believe John said he wanted this bird back after I was done. And I think I'm done with it. I did breed a cockbird from him. And it is a silver check that loop bird. This guy right here, I think this is a really pretty bird. It looks kind of ugly right now because it's wet and dirty. But I think after it dries, it should look really good. See, the mom is a double J bird also. I'm trying to locate where she is. It's not this one, it's uh should be a dark check white flight. Oh this one right here. Here's the hen. I think they resemble each other a lot. This is the son. This is the mom. 
and the dad's in here blue bar self i believe the dad is the one that carries the silver dilute and not the mom so i think that's where the son got the color from uh, other than that um there's a lot of things going on i've been on the edge of quitting on the edge of not quitting and i don't know what's going on so we'll see um only time will tell i really don't want to give up my birds because i do love them it's kind of a hassle having to take care of them when i have so much going on in life so uh we'll see we'll see what time holds for me other than that that's pretty much all the updates for you guys looks like the kid birds are still flying out here they kind of skied out well not really skied out but they're kind of far out so might be maybe another five to ten minutes before they come back put some water down here um, we'll see if they bathe or not they're kind of dirty too i probably should scrape out the kit box it's getting a little dirty some poop on the on the purchase right now maybe i'll just do it right now this is all i use it's just like a scraper they use for like um dry drywall and stuff when they're like um filling in the holes and stuff well, it works pretty well scrape the poop out real quick yep this is the life of owning pigeons you gotta take care of them you gotta scrape their poop you gotta feed them I ain't gonna lie man, I think my pigeons eat better than me. They get some pretty good seeds compared to me. All I eat is freaking ground beef and ground turkey with green on onions and I don't even eat rice like how Asian person should. I eat cauliflower. All jokes aside, raising pigeons is pretty fun. It keeps you out of trouble. Uh, it does cost a lot of money, I guess it depends on how hardcore you are when it comes to raising pigeons i'm kind of hardcore not super hardcore but i think when i finally get my own place i'll be way more hardcore I want like 10 kit boxes and like a 20 by 20 uh breeder loft yep that's the plan for the future but yeah it's gonna be a while before the birds come back so i think that's gonna be it for the video guys thanks for watching if you like my video give me a thumbs up if you aren't subscribed please subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and i'll check you guys out next time